Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 55 in Azure Synapse Analytics playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is lake database and what is lake tables in a high level and how we can create them and how they actually function behind the scenes. So we need to understand this actually. So if you have watched my previous videos of Azure Synapse Analytics, by this time you already know that in Synapse, we have serverless SQL database, we have dedicated SQL database. So let's assume this is like a serverless SQL database and we have dedicated SQL database. So these databases like a SQL databases, right? Where you have a tables and you can use the tables, you can query them. So all this we know. So what is Lake database or Spark database? So if you create a database using Spark, then that is called Spark database or Lake database. Okay, so how we create a database using Spark? If you have seen my previous videos, you know that or else uh, we will uh, show you that in this video as well. But basically, where you use the Spark in the Synapse, actually when you create notebooks, inside the notebooks, if you have any logic to execute this logic, you will connect them with the Spark pools and you will execute it. So in the notebook, if you have written a code to create the database, then that will actually create a Spark database and it will show under the lake databases panel so where it is let me show you that and then let's discuss little detail like how it is different from the sql databases so let me go to uh, my browser and in my browser i have opened my synapse workspace already and here if i navigate to the data menu you can see under workspaces we have something called lake databases so there we see there is one uh, default database it will automatically come and there is one demo spark db which i created it's a lake database and if you open this i have a employees uh, table as well so is this table similar to sql table like if you store some data in table in sql it will be inside that sql database and when you query it you will get that data back right but is it same with a lake database and lake tables no actually so let's go back to presentation to explain you that so lake database is also called as a spark database as i said and you when you create this database actually it is not a database it's a folder so actually it will have a folder behind the scenes on the connected storage account so every synapse workspace will be connected one uh, with one adls gen2 account right so in that it will create actually a folder and for you in the ui it will look like a database okay because you created a database and when you create a tables inside of it inside that folder it will keep all the tables as a folders only actually again i will practically show you that so let's go here firstly let's try to examine whether uh, this database is there as a folder or not so this is demo spark db right so let's go to linked and this is my uh, storage account which i connected so when you connect, when you open your storage account it will be actually having a folder called synapse as a root folder when you go inside that synapse folder you will have workspaces folder and there you will have a folder with your workspace name and when you go inside of it you see a folder called warehouse and if you go see this is where you can see my folder which actually matches with my lake database name so database is actually like a folder behind the scenes in the storage account okay and you see there is a employee table right if i go inside this folder i should see a folder with the table name as well right and when you go inside of it i see some files is so actually from this files which are there on my adls gen2 from these files only data is coming into this table so this table won't have any data by itself actually so it is referring to a data which is there in in some files if i insert some row into this table it will create one more file here basically so basically it's like a external tables what we have discussed in a serverless sql right in synapse serverless sql it is similar to that it's like a external table basically so spark tables actually don't contain any data it will refer to the data in some files from say from a storage and you can insert data but you cannot update and delete the data it, it will only happen in the spark tables version 2 actually which is called delta tables we will discuss that in our upcoming video so for this video what is lake database or a spark database what is spark table up to there so let me practically create one and show you so let's go to this develop menu and here let's try to 
use a notebook okay let's try to create a notebook and here using this notebook i am connecting this to spark pool which i have already and let me use spark sql language for my simplicity here okay and now what i am going to do here i am going to create a new database so i am going to write a code like create database then database name i will name like uh, uh, spark spark db1 okay spark db one this is the database name i want to give okay so now when you use this uh, create database spark db1 and uh, when you try to execute this query it will execute using this spark pool only right so automatically a lake database will be created that means a folder will be created in behind the scenes on the storage account so let me hit shift enter to execute this cell and you can see now it will start the spark session and then it will try to create the database so let's wait for the session to start here and create the database here we can see our session started here and uh, now in couple of seconds it's going to create the database as well so let's wait for the database to get create here now great our command executed successfully and you can see uh, it says like a no data available uh, actually command executed uh, now don't worry about this no data available let's go to our container and here let's go back to workspace then to the data way up to the warehouse folder and if i refresh this folder here now i am not seeing any database here i mean any folder here basically so let's go to data menu and let's refresh this lake databases and see you can see our database got created here basically right now our database is empty there is nothing so we are not seeing the folder there but behind the scenes it created a database already when you create one table and edit it automatically that folder will come there i will practically show you that let's go to notebook here and now here let's try to create a table so to create a table it's like a same sql kind of syntax if you see here create table table name and then give a column names along with the data types so let me create a simple small small table here so create table in spark db1 table i want to create a table called maybe persons okay and inside this table i want to have two columns one is id column which is integer and second one maybe name column uh, as a string maybe okay so let's try to create a table with these two columns and let me hit this uh, run cell command to execute this and see whether this table will get created or not so it executed successfully if i go to tables folder i can see persons table here but actually as i said it's a folder to contain some files in it and from that files only it will pull, pull the data so if i go to demo container and if i refresh this here now you can see our database name came here and if i go inside this folder i see a person folder as well but right now there is no files there now what i am going to do in this table i will be inserting code a uh, some data so let me write like insert into spark db1 dot persons table values i am going to insert like maybe id1 name mahir okay so let me insert this let me hit shift enter to execute this cell and once this cell executed when we go to that storage and when we see the folder we will have some file there actually see job executing you can see currently job ex job execution status here so let's wait for the job to get execute here successfully and then we will navigate to that folder and we will see whether it created some files or files there or not so job executed successfully now if i go here and if i refresh this persons folder i see one file came here right now this file don't have any extension it's not a parquet file it's not a csv file it's just a file it's just a blob basically we will discuss in our next video uh, about this having the files with parquet and csv format as well for the spark database table for now imagine like a, it's a blob it's a file that has some data on top of that data only we have this table persons table now if i try to query this table like select star from uh, spark db1 dot persons if i try to query like this it will get me data back but from where it is getting it there is no uh, storage here there is nothing called a relational database table where the table itself contain the data it's not like that as i said it's basically a folder behind the scenes it's basically a file behind the scenes 
from that file it is fetching the data and giving us so it's like a external table concept what we see in a sql server okay so now in short if i explain uh, what is lake database or a spark database or a spark table that means it's basically a table which has a metadata referring to some uh, referring to some file from the storage and getting that data back actually so it is kind of defining a structure defining a structure or defining a schema on top of your files data basically right so only i can insert the table so as i said if i try to update this uh, same data right it won't work so let me uh, use a new cell here and let me try to update that first row so what i am going to do update update this table set set name equals to i want to set name equals to maybe like wafa where id equals to one so i'm trying to update my first row so in my first row i have name mahir i'm going to update it to wafa now so when i try to update right it won't work it is going to error out why because updates and deletes are only possible with the spark tables version 2 which is delta type tables okay we will discuss that in our next video what are the types of the spark tables and what version 1 version 2 so these are like version 1 tables what we are seeing uh, a normal uh, spark tables but if you create this spark tables with a delta as a format then you can perform the updates as well that we will discuss in our upcoming video so this is what at a high level what is spark uh, or lake database and lake table means let me go back to presentation and uh, yeah so lake uh, lake database tables also called as a spark database tables when we create them using the spark it, it actually creates a table in the lake database but basically it refers to a uh, data which is there in external storage as a file format or something we have seen it now this lake databases uh, tables have different formats it has parquet formats it has csv formats it has a uh, delta format so what type of uh, formats are allowed for this lake database tables and uh, what is this delta table as well that we will discuss in our upcoming video uh, in the next immediate video we will discuss about creating a lake database table with parquet and csv as a format and we will discuss more about it okay so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching this video uh, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.